All right, folks, I want you to think about this for a second. You know, I've been watching everything that's been going on. I've been watching all the YouTubers, what's going on in the news. Um, do you understand what separation of church and state actually means? Do you realize it's not about keeping the church out of government? Separation of church and state. And you need to look this up and actually study your history to know this. Separation of church and state means keeping the state out of the church, not the church out of the state. Do you understand that? <clears throat> this is not about the people that have faith and belief cannot run for government and actually influence what the government says. It's so the government does not influence and stop the state, excuse me, stop the church from believing what they believe. In other words, separation of church and state means the state will not tell the church how and what to believe. It's, but you see right now we have the 501c3, that's the tax exempt. And if you look into the 501c3, now, by what that says, for you to take your tax-exempt status, the government now tells you what you can preach and what you cannot preach. We have become Babylon. Do you understand that? Scripture speaks about mystery Babylon. And the reason why it says Mystery Babylon is because it's not Babylon of Babylon where it was located in Iraq. It's mystery. Now we know. We are Babylon. And those of us that believe in Christ, we're like Daniel. We live in Babylon. What does scripture speak about? What happens to Mystery Babylon? People, you need to wake up. I am so tired of you people that think you're... you're. There's a difference between, between being awake and being woke. Those that are awake, those that see the truth and see what's really happening. And then you have those that are woke. They're woke to being sheeple. And they follow what the government says. They believe what the government says. <coughs> they listen... To the propaganda. Do you realize that during the Obama administration, they actually legalized propaganda for the government to speak to the people? The government can legally lie to you, and you don't even know it because you haven't paid attention to what they were saying. The government can legally lie to you, and they are in control of the media. So, therefore, your CNN, your MSNBC, your Fox, all of them, they're all in on it against you. And you don't even realize this. Man, people, <clears throat> look at where the world is at right now. Understand, we are on the verge of nuclear war, and you all are worried about, <clears throat> ah, credit karma, or what company I'm going to apply at with their app so they can buy my clothes for me because I don't know how to dress myself. I'll tell them what to do and they'll send me my clothes. That's where your mindset is at. You do not understand where we're... Do you know Christ? And I said, do you know Christ? And, you, and, and, and most of y'all watching this are going to be like, oh man, he's a Jesus freak, you know? You know what? You need to actually open up that book and do a little reading. Rather than just disregard what we're saying, how about taking the time to go, you know what, I'm going to disprove him. I'll open up his own book and I'm going to prove him wrong. Open up that book. And read it. Hey, if you're going to prove me wrong, don't just disregard what myself and many others are saying, do your own research. 
prove us wrong. Right now, we are in a nation where <clears throat> men can be women, women can be men. And, and, and there, there's what, like, like 60, 70 different genders that they're saying now? I mean, seriously? <clears throat> you know, when I was born um, down here, uh, I had parts and I didn't know nothing. I didn't know nothing until I was, what, 12, 13, before I started waking up what guys, boys, and girls were. <clears throat> but now, they're in second and third grade, and they're, they're, they're trying to teach them that they have a choice. And they, they, they're influencing influence them to, to do things that, that's just not natural. They don't give them a choice. They don't reach the age where they actually have the idea in their head to go, you know what, I, I, I have to make a decision. They're in the age where they're very, very, very influential and they're just, they're learning. And now these people, you're sending your kids to a place. It's not public education. It's government education. Do you realize that? And they're teaching them what the government wants them to learn. Man. I'm what I'm, I'm 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 57 going on 58, you know, and 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 it's like, in my lifetime, from the early 80s when I was 15, 16, 17 years old, until now, I've seen such a mass, mass change in culture. It just, I slap my head. I go. I'm, no time in history has there ever been a mass change in culture like there has in the past 40 years. And when we look at what's happening right now, and we look at Scripture, and we look at Daniel, we look at Ezekiel, we look at Isaiah, we look at even the books of Moses in, in, in Genesis, we look at in the New Testament. We look at what Christ said was going to happen. We look in the books that Paul wrote. We look in Revelation, the book that John wrote. And everything is all being fulfilled. And right now, we are like on the cusp of all this. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, we're going to be raptured before this all goes. And I'm not going to say, oh, we're going to be here until this all ends. That's going to be what it's going to be. I have my own personal beliefs and I stand by them. But we shall see. People, man, you need, to, you need to wake up and you need to start speaking to people. And you know what? If they come down on you because you're speaking against modern culture and the woke generation, then so be it. Because what do you want to be? Do you want to be on the side of man? Or do you want to be on the side of Christ? Your choice, man. Peace.